Thank you, Liv, for those lovely words. I would also like to thank Corbin McKinnon, Calvert Johnson, Charles A. Dana, Professor Emeritus of Music and College Organist Emeritus, and the Petrie Brass for that fantastic processional. And aren't the international flags phenomenal? These flags represent each of the countries that you, our first summit class, visited on your journey's trip. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to our graduates, to their families and guests who have journeyed from near and far to be with us today, to Agnes Scott's trustees, faculty, and staff who have given so much to nurture and support our graduates. We have some proud parents, friends, aunts, uncles, grandparents, and even great-grandparents with us this morning. I also want to extend a warm Scotty welcome to our speaker, Jordan Castile. Thank you, Jordan, for being with us. On behalf of the entire Agnes Scott community, I am so excited to welcome you all here today. I also am very proud to be the first to say, congratulations, class of 2019. It truly is an honor to share your special day. And it's been an honor to have shared your senior year, your last on this beautiful campus. Anyone who sets foot here knows Agnes Scott is special. And that's because of you, our brilliant and dynamic Scotties. Being with you, talking to you, listening to you is inspiring and invigorating. Truly, I get my energy from you. Sprites, as I was getting settled here, I paid close attention to your class. And it was clear to me from the start that you are leaders, and not just because you're seniors. I've learned so much from you. We all have, really. And, taught you, and taught so, you've taught us so many lessons about leadership in the time that we've had together. You taught us how to contribute to the greater community. You've taken internships and summer jobs that allowed you to use what you were learning on this campus to help people, locally and globally. Reminded us that it's possible to get people excited, not just about politics, but also about public service. Through organizations like Ignite, you registered people to vote, hosted elections to watch parties, and recruited young leaders like yourselves. You showed us how to start something brand new and how to grow into something that lasts, something as important and inspirational as Pathmakers. And, and you showed us how to use these things to set us apart as a source of strength. You taught us how to use our voices, whether it's reading your own poetry during a celebration of Black History Month or declaring your support for immigrants during a day of action. You are never afraid to speak out. And that includes here at this ceremony. For the first time at an Agnes Scott commencement, we'll hear from a member of the senior class. Sprites, you have called out the injustices you've seen across the country and around the world, and right here at Agnes Scott. In ways, in some ways, that's even harder to do. So I admire you for what you've done, and I thank you. When you uncovered painful truths, as you did during your work on the history of Agnes Scott College, you taught us how to have a conversation about them, how to learn from them how to be better. And because of you, we are better. You helped the college start brand new things that were brand new when you were still brand new. Maybe it feels like a lifetime ago, or maybe it feels like yesterday. But back in the fall of 2015, you left home and entered this new place with new people and new ideas. Now, that's hard enough. 
But the following spring, you went off to Cuba, Bolivia, Puerto Rico, and eight other places. On these journeys, our first ever, you pushed yourselves even further. You engaged with global issues. You unpacked critical topics. You brought the lessons you learned back here, where you put them into practice as leaders on this campus. As the very first graduating summit class, I know you often felt like guinea pigs. I know that because you actually told us that. <laughs> but I also know that being first, helping us start something completely different, figuring out how to navigate change, has prepared you for the future. But it has also prepared us for our future. You were instrumental in making Summit what it is today, a signature program that has gained international attention and acclaim, a program that led this college to being ranked number one for innovation by US News and World Report. As much as you've depended on us, we have depended on you. So on behalf of a very grateful community, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Given everything you have given us, we're incredibly sad to see you go. But given everything that you have already accomplished, we can't wait to see what comes next. There's a quote I love that's attributed to one of my heroes, Nelson Mandela. There is no passion to be found in playing small, settling for a life less than the one you are capable of. Sprites, you have never played small. You are capable of great things. Never settle for less. Whether you're headed off to graduate school or a brand new job, whether you're taking a gap year to volunteer or travel or to work, whether you're staying here in Atlanta or venturing off to places where you've never seen. We know you will make your mark, just as you have done right here on campus. Here, you learned how to think deeply, how to approach and address a challenge, how to be honorable, how to be responsible, respectful members of the community, how to listen, really listen, how to make good friends, how to be good friends. I'm sure many of you will welcome a break from homework and essays and projects. You certainly deserve never to look at Moodle again. <laughs> but here's the thing. I hope you never stop learning. I hope you choose to become lifelong learners. And I hope that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you carry everything you learned here along with you. I hope you carry this place with you. Because just as you are leaving a piece of yourselves here, you're taking a piece of Agnes Scott with you. Just as we were with you on your very first journey, we'll be with you in all of your journeys to come. So every time you look down and see that black ring, just remember, we appreciate you. We believe in you. You're right here with us. We're cheering you on every step of the way. We can't wait to see where you will go, how you will grow. And we can't wait to welcome you back home again. Congratulations, Sprites, and our very best wishes for every success in the future. One of those graduates whose successes we will be following is Malika Balakrishnan. Through a competitive contest, Malika was selected to be Agnes Scott's first graduating senior to speak at commencement. A philosophy and policy, a political science major from Marietta, Georgia, Malika has been an active Scotty, leading Model UN and Aetna Signify, tutoring in Latin, and in the Center for Writing and Speaking. <laughs> She has served as a philosophy teaching assistant and playing in Agnes Scott's community orchestra and with local bands. She has interned at CARE USA and Amnesty International. 
Her future goal is dedicated, dedicated to working to protect people and human rights around the world, and specifically in Latin America and the Caribbean. Malika is an avid reader and loves learning about post-colonial literature. She's interested in a range of topics from political activity to topography. She is this year's recipient of the Cronin Award for Excellence in the Study of Politics and the Merle Grubbs Philosophy Prize. After graduating, Malika will study, will study moral, legal, and political philosophy at the University of St. Andrews and international political economy at the University of York as a Marshall Scholar. Please join me in welcoming Malika Balakrishnan. Thank you.